Hi all, welcome to Linux Work. My name is Chandan and today we are going to learn how we can enable diagnostic agent on Azure VM. So why require this diagnostic agent? There is two three important uh, use of this diagnostic agent. First things it will help you to go inside for the monitoring. Okay, so basically uh, some matrix says okay matrix it's not coming okay so uh, if you enable that diagnostic agent it will show you like memory matrix, memory and uh, other parameter also is there but for the main thing is memory okay so if you want to see utilization of memory then you have to enable this diagnostic agent first thing second things uh, if if you want to troubleshoot advanced things like uh, system booted or not uh, serial console uh, like sometime we need to do that so uh, if you want to access that serial console and other things then you have to enable this diagnostic agent it will help you okay so in this video we will learn how we can enable this okay and what are the feature is there okay what we will get and behind the scene what happened okay all these things uh, we will learn in detail in this video and uh, before going for the uh, just this is uh, my channel so please uh, you have visited first time on this channel please like and uh, share and subscribe this uh, channel to get uh, similar video in future okay please subscribe so let's back to the topic and uh, uh, we can see how we can enable it so okay just go to the particular vm okay because here i have created one test vm vm win test so i am going here okay just go here after clicking on this uh, windows once you reach there just uh, scroll down okay in sidebar and go to diagnostic setting okay click on here so what required for diagnostic agent you have one storage account you must have one okay you can create new one or uh, you can you can create new one or it will take by default one okay so I'm choosing by default I'm not going to create any storage account just click on enable guest level monitoring <coughs> okay so once it's enabled you will see here there is one extension will be installed okay so if you go to the section of extensions okay currently there is no extension right so once this uh, operation completed you will see there is one extension will be appear here okay first thing okay second things i want to uh, tell you once diagnostic agent is enabled okay we will see here that this screenshot is coming right last uh, status or something like it will help you to uh, check that system is getting up or not okay sometimes we are trying to log in but uh, problem is even system is not completely up so these things for troubleshooting it is helping you okay so that things I just uh, I want to tell so this very helpful if if you are running uh, Linux or Windows any system it will help you once the system is up it's a uh, coming that means system getting reached completely started okay so that things I just uh, I want to give you information till it's uh, still going on okay so no issue uh, we can wait for that okay so this this diagnostic agent is uh, enabled successfully now just go to this section extensions okay once you reach there we need to refresh it once okay just refreshed and 
just go there you can see right one diagnostic agent installed okay so uh, this this extension is the thing say, which collecting all the data and giving us on front of the view okay so now the things is completed just click on diagnostic setting here we will see uh, this uh, parameter and other things so cpu memory disk and network you can configure this uh, according to your need okay this is the basic things if you want to put that custom so custom in parameter we can you can change the sample rate unit all these things you can change i am putting this basics only logs what level logs you want okay like basic critical error warning information verbose security all this parameter you can select okay you can select and uh, enable that you just need to do like i want a uh, iis log okay so just uh, a storage account it will ask you okay a storage container you should have and just uh, save that okay so once it it get updated that that things is enabled okay how we can change the setting i just uh, i want to show you. this is crash dump uh, just uh, dumps currently i am not going to discuss these things uh, but for basics you don't require this okay this is sync sinks if you want to move somewhere else uh, this data and uh, trying to view a uh, more detail then you can put this data in, uh, application inside you need to enable this and move that data some other devices like if you want to move uh, there is one service called uh, application application inside so there you can uh, put if you have uh, if you want to that things okay but currently we are not going to do that and this is a storage account disk uh, quota and this is the saying a status okay so that that things uh, you can remove diagnostic agent from here also and from that side also means uh, once you click here if you want to remove then you can remove sometime be required from here uninstall okay so now the diagnostic agent enabled and uh, all the parameter is set i'm taking by default parameter i didn't uh, set it anything now just go there okay okay and just uh, here you need to choose it's taking some time but no issue okay so now it's coming so let's back to there uh, you can see right so just select this uh, guest level matrix memory one thing also remember uh, it will not come uh, if you if your subscription is new then you have to register your health okay so there is one uh, we will check later but what you need you have to register your subscription uh, resource provider okay there is one called microsoft dot insight okay so that's uh, that uh, resource you need to register okay then it will be come as a memory matrix otherwise it will not come here okay that things uh, just i want to pass you uh, so guys uh, uh, similar thing we can do for the Linux okay similar thing we can do for the Linux so, so I have one Linux VM here 
okay so if you go to the matrix okay just check here that uh, guest level matrix is not coming right so uh, we have to enable that diagnostic agent for getting the guest level matrix so what we need to do here just go to diagnostic setting enable that similar thing okay okay so as we can see this uh, updated diagnostic agent uh, you have to save it okay so for linux you can see right it's coming a uh, little bit different okay so that is the default things uh, i am not going to do lot of things here just i am putting that uh, default setting okay if anyone uh, want to get all the details uh, other things like then just uh, ping me or just comment i will create a detailed video in this okay lot of things is here but uh, uh, just i am going for the default one so how we can enable so okay so uh, this this uh, extension diagnostic uh, we have in, uh, enabled now the things uh, just go to that vm okay now just go to matrix it is taking first time it's taking time so let's wait go to guest okay now search memory memory percentage memory used memory available so whatever uh, if you want to uh, memory level matrix then you have to enable this okay so that is the thing so it will take some uh, 5 minute to 5 to 10 minute to reflect that uh, memory here okay so that's all in this video okay so uh, please uh, subscribe uh, like share and subscribe my channel this is my channel okay Linux for here I am sending uh, I'm creating video on Linux uh, DevOps and uh, cloud technology basically major Linux and Azure okay and so please uh, uh, like share and subscribe uh, I have my one of the site also you can visit here and uh, learn about the Linux I am writing here okay so I am writing uh, technical content here so so you can visit here okay also for uh, learning and uh, thank you for watching uh, please subscribe